welcome to the mathematics in my channel today we are going to solve another interesting integral the question is integral from 0 to 5 over 2 d theta over the square root of 1 plus cosine square of theta is equal to gamma square of 1 over 4 divided by 4 times the square root of 2 times 5 okay how to show this well first i'm going to take um, left hand side and we can write here this is equal to 0 to 5 over 2 d theta over here 1 plus cosine square of theta we know 1 minus sine square of theta so 1 minus sine square of theta and then we can write here this is equal to 0 to 5 over 2 d theta over here now 1 plus 1 so 2 2 minus sine square of theta well then we can take um, the square root of 2 as a factor in the denominator so we can write here 1 over the square root of 2 0 to 5 over 2 d theta over here now we will have uh, we took 2 so 1 minus sine square of theta over 2 well now this is familiar with us because we know uh, this formula k of k here simple k this is equal to 0 to 5 over 2 d theta over 1 minus k square sine square of theta we know this because this is the first kind of elliptic integral okay but uh, anyway here in this question um, we need to reach the gamma square of 1 over 4 our answer so however now we can use the substitution so if we take um, here uh, what is the substitution yeah we can take t is equal to sine of theta now differentiate so dt is equal to cosine of theta d theta now d theta is equal to dt over cosine of theta we know cosine of theta is equal to uh, square root of cosine square of theta so square root of cosine square of theta we know 1 minus sine square of theta so 1 minus t square and the limit when lower limit when theta approaches to 0 um, t approaches to also 0 upper limit when theta approaches to pi over 2 t approaches to 1 okay now we can plug in here so we can write here 1 over square root of 2 here now limit 0 to 1 d theta d theta is equal to dt over 1 minus t square over here square root of mm, 1 minus now sine square of theta we know t square so t square over 2 now we can simplify this so here 1 over square root of 2 here if we take 1 over 2 as a factor so here 1 over square root of 2 so we know this 2 square root of 2 get cancelled and here we have 0 to 1 here dt 
over here square root of 1 minus t square times the square root of here 2 minus t square okay now what can we do again again we can use a substitution so if we take uh, t square is equal to u now differentiate 2 times t dt is equal to du and now we can isolate the dt so dt is equal to du over 2 times now t is equal to square root of u well now we can plug in here so i'm going to write here in this place so we can write uh, here this is equal to now limit uh, also 0 to 1 so 0 to 1 now dt is equal to du over 2 times square root of u over now here 1 minus t square so t square we know u so 1 minus u times here square root of 2 minus u okay then sorry then we can write here this is equal to here 2 we can write outside of the integral sign so here 0 to 1 now du over here square root of u we can write in the denominator so u 1 minus u square root of 2 minus u okay now again again we can use a substitution so if we take um, now um, yeah 1 minus u is equal to x um, now uh, sorry yeah differentiate so minus du is equal to dx uh, now limit uh, here one half now lower limit when approaches to when is uh, yeah u approaches to zero we know x approaches to one when x approaches u approaches to one x approaches to zero and du is equal to minus dx so minus dx over here now u is equal to 1 minus square root of 1 minus x here 1 minus u so square root of x here 2 minus u so here 1 minus u uh, if is sum 1 so 1 plus here also plus 1 so 2 minus u is equal to 1 plus x so square root of 1 plus x now here we can change the lower limit and upper limit uh, so this minus going to plus so we can write one half 0 to 1 here dx over here the square root of x now 1 minus x 1 plus x we can write the square root of 1 minus x square okay interesting question now what's the next step okay then again we can use a substitution so if we take um, here x square is equal to v now differentiate so 2 times x dx is equal to dv and then um, here dx so dx uh, is equal to dv over 2 times x now x is equal to square root of v and here x square is equal to v now here we need square root of x so 
the square root of x we can write v to the 1 over 4 power okay then here we can write we can plug in here mm, 1 half uh, now limits also 0 to 1 so 0 to 1 now dx is equal to dv over 2 times square root of v over square root of x we know v to the 1 over 4th power times 1 minus x square we know square root of 1 minus v okay then um, I write here then we can write this is equal to 1 here 1 over 2 here 2 so 1 over 4 so 1 over 4 integral of 0 to 1 now here dv over here v to the 1 over 4 power here square root of v so square root of v we know v to the 1 half power times 1 minus v to the 1 half power okay now here 1 over 4 integral of from 0 to 1 we can write here um, 1 over 4 plus 1 half we know 3 over 4 so we can write in the numerator v to the minus 3 over 4 power times 1 minus v to the uh, minus 1 half power dv then we can arrange rearrange this like uh, 0 to 1 now here v to the minus 3 over 4 we can write um, v to the 1 over 4 minus 1 times 1 minus v to the 1 over 2 minus 1 here dv okay now i think this is familiar with us because we know this is 0 to 1 v to the uh, or you can change the variable x to the 1 over 4 minus 1 or 1 minus x to the 1 over 2 minus 1 dx so we know this is beta function beta of 1 over 4 1 over 2 now we know about uh, beta function and relation of beta function and gamma function so we can write 1 over 4 times here hmm, gamma of 1 over 4 times gamma of 1 over 2 over gamma of 1 over 4 plus 1 over 2 and then here 1 over 4 times here gamma of 1 over 4 and we know gamma of 1 half is equal to the square root of pi and we uh, we know here in the denominator uh, here 1 over 4 plus 1 over 2, 2 so gamma of 3 over 4 so we know gamma of 3 over 4 is equal to square root of 2 times pi over gamma of 1 over 4 so now we can substitute here here gamma of 1 over 4 now gamma of 1 half is square root of pi over here gamma of 3 over 4 so square root of 2 times pi uh, over gamma of 1 over 4 so we can write here multiply by gamma of 1 over 4 okay now here gamma of 1 over 4 here gamma of 1 over 4 so we can write gamma square of 1 over 4 here square root of 5 get cancelled so in the denominator we will have square root of pi so 4 times 
स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ टू टाइम्स पाई ओके